Self-monitoring is another component, um, and a lot of this, again, kind of overlaps. So those self-evaluation checklists are methods of self-monitoring, right? Um, but the side of self-monitoring is really how we keep track of our own actions and performance. Um, and self-monitoring is really constantly used by children in um, the school environment. It's used in everything from frying an egg to solving a math problem. And so weak self-monitoring skills can be supported through use of like those checklists and prompts and task analysis, right? But let's really think about it. Have some um, self-awareness of your own self-monitoring. Um, for example, when I am frying an egg for breakfast in the morning, there's all kinds of self-talk that's happening. Everything from trying to be the most efficient in, I'll get the eggs out of the refrigerator and the milk at the same time, um, but I wanna get the stove turned on in the pan first, and it's all about sequencing, and then as I'm watching the egg fry, I like my yolks a little bit yellow and runny still, so I'm constantly monitoring, did I get the temperature right? Um, how is it doing? Have I added enough um, you know, oil for it not to stick to the pan? So there's all kinds of things and questions you're asking yourself as you're going along. Um, that's self-monitoring. Um, so this whole idea of self-talk is a really big thing that we can model for our students because they, you know, language is hard enough um, verbally <laughs> and outwardly, but so much of what we do to self-regulate is also language-based. It's just what we say silently to ourselves.